Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your monthly reading. This reading is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 2023, or whenever you are so forth called to this reading. Remember, all my readings are timeless, so know that when you find yourself here, it is exactly when you are meant to receive this message. Cross watchers, you are welcome, but please know that my main focus today will be on Libra. Feel free to check your moon rising Venus signs for additional messages or to get a complete overview of all the energies that you may be looking at and feeling throughout the month. That being stated, I hope all of you are doing well. We're going to be doing the classic Celtic cross today and seeing what is going on with my beautiful Libras. All right. So in the heart of the matter, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is telling me that for a lot of my Libras out there, things seem to be stagnant. <clears throat> things may, for some of you, be proceeding very slowly. You may not feel like things are moving in any direction at all. And for some of you, you may be approaching a situation with very, uh, with kid gloves, very cautiously, very carefully. <clears throat> What is crossing it is a the page of cups. So you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this is overall for a lot of you, I feel like the, you have an offer here, whether this is a creative project offer or an op offer when it comes to work or even a promotion when it comes to work that is, you're, you're proceeding with it with caution. It may be moving very slowly. For some of you, this could be a relationship connection, uh, a love offer, something that you're trying to get off the ground that doesn't seem to really, at this moment, it doesn't appear to be, but actually is uh, moving forward. It just appears to be very slow. And the root of it is the high priestess. Yeah, there is a lot that is not known or seen. Some things may feel secretive, there's maybe a lot um, that you are intuitively feeling or intuitively know, or you need to rely on your intuition here uh, in order to proceed forward with this. But there is this veil of uncertainty that's connected with this because things are moving very slowly. Recent energy, we have the Six of Cups coming in. Very interesting energy. So for a lot of you, what this is going to mean is for... A lot of you, this is a situation that has resurfaced, or for some of you, this could be a person that has resurfaced from your past. It could be a missed opportunity. It could have been a um, missed connection. For some of you, this could be an old connection. But this is also bringing you back to a place uh, for a lot of you in your mind, uh, a where a feeling of familiarity right now with the situation. You could be having kind of a deja vu kind of feeling in regards to whatever this represents for you, whether it's love, career, family, friends, that, you know, it just, there's a lot of unknown things and you are having to rely a lot on your feeling or your intuition in order to navigate the situation because of how slow it's progressing. So what are you wanting? Yeah, you're wanting this to be the opportunity of a lifetime, Libra. You're wanting to take a chance. You're wanting something new. You're wanting to give birth to a new idea or a, for some of you, this could be, you know, a lucrative project that you're wanting to see really succeed. You are wanting this opportunity. And yeah, I think for a lot of you, maybe wanting it to, to progress a lot faster. Uh, let's see what's coming in the future. Beautiful. Empress energy. I love this for you uh, that is coming in. This tells me that a lot of you are going to see growth. You're going to see abundance in this situation. You're going to see this blossoming happening here. You just have to have patience, it seems, um, to get to this Empress stage and to really, you know, allow it to develop in its own natural state. <clears throat> Look at you. Libra coming in in your energy 100% in that Queen of Pentacles. This tells me that you have the nurturing ability, uh, as with this Empress, to make things grow, to make things happen. You are stable and steady. You're going to make sure that everybody is taken care of or you're making sure everything is taken care of. But there is a potential for you, that for those of you that are watching this in connection to a relationship, this tells me that you're ready 
and willing to go the distance, you're ready and willing to really commit to a long distance or a long term relationship. Let's see the outside influence. All right, so eight of cups coming in. So this is an energy that I'm feeling for a lot of you um, that could be connected to the past. I'm, gonna, I'm drawing a parallel to this. Some of you are feeling a sense of deja vu. Like I said, this is bringing up past feelings and you're really, your intuition may be a little off uh, on this because this past influence here of the Eight of Cups may indicate that you went through a similar situation where things didn't uh, take off or things didn't go anywhere and you put a lot of your time or your energy or even your hope into it. And this could be related to career as well. You know, you could have invested in a company, you could have invested in a, a project that's now resurfaced for you. It could be the exact same thing or something similar mm -hmm. that just really didn't work out. And you have that feeling as that, you know, either you had to walk away from it or the or there was a departing here from you and whatever your past situation was. Now for others of you, this may indicate that you need to walk away from your past. The past is influencing your current mindset. You have this beautiful opportunity in front of you that you're wanting to grasp. You have the ability to make it happen. But this can mean to indicate now it's time to move forward and move on. And I'm not um, going to ignore the message that just came through. For some of you, this can indicate if you're already in a connection, but it's really stated the infancy you've you know, given it time, you've given it um, energy, you've given it time to really growth and bloom, and it hasn't, it may be time to consider walking away from this connection for a new connection, for a stronger connection, because you're ready uh, for more. Hopes and fears. Yeah, you're afraid of being wounded. You're afraid of being hurt some more. You're afraid of holding on to something that isn't going to materialize. You, what you hope for is to heal, to get what you want, to, you know, finally be in that beautiful connection or have that, that position or be recognized for the work that you have put in uh, to your, your job, your career, your projects, your passions, your family for some of you I'm hearing. But this is definitely this energy of, you know, wanting recognition, wanting to succeed, wanting to have a victory. Wanting to move past the stage where you're feeling wounded. All right, possible outcome in this situation is the Three of Swords. And I'm going to pull one more on that with the King of Wands. So there is a potential for heartbreak here, especially for some of you that may have to walk away from a situation. But others of you with the King of Wands coming in here, there is a potential here for you to take control of the situation, to go after what you truly want and to make it happen. The King of Wands always achieves his goals. He always achieves his passions. He always gets what he wants because he's not afraid to stop. There is no stop. He's not afraid to do whatever it takes to conquer, to succeed. And I really feel like a lot of you, that is your energy. You have the ability to heal this. It does not have to end in heartbreak. You have the ability to have faith in order to move this forward. And there it is. There is your card of victory. You can have this win. You just have to make a decision and a choice to take a different path, take a different road. In order to do that, you need to go within and use your knowledge to bring balance to yourself and to this connection, or for some of you, to this, this job, making sure that it's equal give and take. All right, so let's go ahead and dive a little bit further in, and we're gonna pull some romance angels to get a better view when it comes to love and romance and relationships in general. What's going on in your energy and in your situation at this time, Libra? All right, spirit guides, let's take a look at my beautiful, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and comes to love, romance, and relationships. What does Libra need to know for their highest vibration and their highest good at this time? Please show me clearly, precisely, and accurately the best messages, advice, and guidance for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, 
and Venus signs. What do we have for Libra? Best messages, advice, and guidance, please, for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus when it comes to love and romance. Interesting. All right. Mm-hmm. We got express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Don't sit on the fence. Don't hold back. Be the king of wands and, and heal that broken heart. Take over that situation and go after the opportunity that you want. If you never ask Libra, the answer will always be no. You have new love coming in or the potential for new love to show up here with a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So some of you have the potential for new love. Um, this could be a new love situation that has been progressing very slowly. You're also being guided to keep an open mind. Uh, your soulmate or your partner coming in or has come in may not be uh, up to your usual type or standards. It may be different and different is not always bad. Bottom of the deck you are getting, it is safe to love. It is safe to open your heart to receive the highest and most beautiful gift of all, which is love. So it's safe for you to step out. The past situation does not have to repeat itself. And of course, we have the moniker of love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Not only does it make you more romantically attractive and more in your own power, but it also is a good way to show yourself love and compassion. When you love and honor yourself as much as you want someone else to love and honor you or how as much as you would love and honor someone else, it sets your vibration at a much higher rate and you're able to bring in partners and persons and people into your life that is going to match that vibration. The non-vibrational matches will fall off as you raise your vibration and that can start literally with self-love and self-care. All right, what else do we have for my beautiful Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Beautiful, we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So this is about setting your intentions. What kind of partner do you want to come in? Again, it goes with loving yourself, just like we just talked about. You know, what is your ideal partner? And don't get so specific that like you get down to like, you know, height and hair color and eye color. More about the traits, the values, the morals uh, that you would like to see and have in a partner and share with a partner. Make sure that that vibration, however, is at the same level as what you are. All right, Spirit Guys, give me one more beautiful message, please, for Libra. All right, so we have your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path, and that's falling over the Empress. Uh, beautiful message for a lot of you. This is going to indicate, you know, a soulmate union or feeling a soulmate connection. For others of you, some of you out there may be experiencing a twin flame connection uh, or will be experiencing a twin flame connection, depending on if you are on that spiritual path. For a lot of you, this can indicate that your person coming in or has come in, there may be religious differences, there may be cultural differences that you may not have once considered uh, to be in alignment with you that may now be surprising you, especially coming underneath that keep an open mind. So, I mean, I don't really get that message very often, so I do feel like that's gonna speak to some of you, that someone coming in or has come in uh, it's good, again, I'm getting sense of new. Uh, this is a door opening, a window opening that you really never had thought of ever exploring before, but it is being laid out, laid out now in front of you. And so this could be a surprising and somewhat challenging uh, connection as you adapt to it. But most of all, my beautiful uh, Libras, this, there is this potential for a beautiful connection. It's just happening in its own divine timing. All right, so that may be why also it's proceeding slowly and may feel like it's not moving at all. It's because you guys are coming into vibration 
or alignment as well as physical alignment. So let's get some messages, my beautiful Libras, from your person. All right, my beautiful spiritual team, let's take a look at Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and the person that they have most on their mind, the person they are hoping, wishing, desiring to connect with, have previously connected to, are in current connection, or will be connecting with in the near future. What does my beautiful Libras need to know? for their highest vibration and highest good, please. Best messages, advice, and guidance for my Libras. Thank you. <laughs> we got a lot of ones popping. Now, this can come through as many different aspects. This can come through with a match to the reading, and this can also be from exes and individuals that have a lot to say. All right. So I'm going to start off with this really beautiful card. I love you unconditionally. I am getting the sense that this is coming from uh, Libras with current partners, someone that you're already in alignment with. And I am getting six months or more in alignment with somebody that you have been seeing, talking to, dating, or physically in a connection with for six months or more. This person loves you unconditionally. There is no fault. There is no, uh, I'm hearing deficit. This, this person likes the word deficit uh, for someone out there that you could bring to the table that is they would not accept. They love you unconditionally. Their love is true and withholding and withstanding is what I meant to say, withstanding. So they, this is somebody who is there for the, the, for the test of time. For others of you, I am getting a sense of the new person coming in that is going to accept you as you are, Libra. You're not going to need to try to make yourself special or different or, you know, maybe even magnify your already wonderful qualities. This is somebody who is going to look at you in all your glory and all your flaws and accept you just as you are. No need to change, no demands of change. But this is pure acceptance because this comes from a place of pure intentional love. I love that message. All right, so I've got, I lost myself for a little while. So I feel like for a lot of you, again, I'm getting a sense of already connected connection, whether that is current connection or in separation. Uh, this would be short-term separation. So within the last year. This person is indicating that they never stop caring about you. They never stop having feelings and love for you. They really never stop really being in their mind a part of the connection. What I am getting, however, is this person may have seemed detached or seems detached from the current connection and from you, Libra, because they lost track of themselves. Uh, they may have been going through a personal mental issue. For some of you, they're getting um, depression, uh, anxiety, and uh, I'm hearing medical condition as well that really kind of soaked up their time, their energy, their focus. And for others of you, this is just somebody who kind of got lost in the day-to-day -day life and living and they are aware now that they did not stay present in your connection as much as they had intended to. They did get, they just kind of lost track of themselves for a little while, but this person um, is coming out of this. They are gonna be moving back towards you, more reconnection coming uh, with you, especially for those of you that are in current connection where your partner just seemed to be drifting for a while. All right, so we do have a connection coming in. I do feel that says we need to let each other go and I'm getting uh, two, four, two steps forward, one step back, opposites good track. So a Paul Hedl song coming to mind with this. Um, it's the way my guide sometimes communicates through with me through music. But this is kind of an indication with somebody that you've been doing a dance with for a while. Uh, you have an extensive history with it's on again, it's off again. You seem to make progress and there's a backslide. Uh, this person is indicating like you guys have come at this connection from every imaginable way. And unfortunately, 
as much as the good intentions are there, as much as there are feelings and love present, it doesn't have the energy to sustain the connection between the two of you and you're hurting yourselves more by trying to hold on to it. I'm actually hearing um, that some of you, this will not apply to all of you, and those of you, I, I do feel like you'll have an intuitive nudge here. You're gonna be better off as really close friends, even best friends, than trying to continue a partnership, a romantic partnership that just isn't working, no matter how much you try. All right, so then we have a next coming in. I do feel like this is 100% X energy coming in saying you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Um, this, you know, for a lot of you, you're going to know that this person struggled. This is not going to be a surprise. Uh, you're going to know, um, through either their, you know, their social media or their friends or family, you're going to know that this person really struggled with your departure, your breakup. Uh, this is not somebody who took it in stride or kind of hid how they felt. This person was very transparent to the people around them about the struggle that they went through. And with that, also, I'm going to apply that same message to this message. For some of you, this is a past connection, someone that you connected with a while ago. I'm getting three years or more ago where you and this person end up having, happening to uh, go into separation, to split up, to break up. And for, I'm hearing for a slight few of you, this may have to do with a family move. So I'm hearing that some of you may have connected with this person in your teenage years, where one, either your family or this person's family had to move away, relocate to a different part of the state, the country, the world, I'm even hearing for some of you. And if that is the case, um, I feel like this person, if they have not yet made a reappearance in your life or you into theirs, um, that will be happening. And there is going to be this moment where things are going to feel very stagnated, very slow, because there is a fear for both of you involved in this, because uh, there is that unknown uh, element, but also because how difficult this was initially on the both of you. And I don't feel like this was one-sided, Libra. I feel like you and this person had a difficult time letting go of each other. This was very painful and very sad. I do feel like for a couple of you, if this is your story, you may have stayed in contact with each other for a while post breakup, maybe sending emails or saying connected on social media. Um, so I'm getting instant messages. Like there was this, this attempt to stay connected, but over a period of time, that became just too hard on the both of you. And without even knowing it, you guys were matching each other's energy. So I'm coming back to that twin flame energy where you started drifting a little bit. Um, away from each other. You both intentionally kind of pulled back because it was hurting so much to stay in contact. And I do feel like there was a period of time now, uh, a year or more, some upwards of two years, at least at the minimum, where there's been zero contact or zero communication between the two of you. So coming back in with this energy, reconnecting in any type of way, it's bringing all those feelings again to the surface. And I think this is kind of where that three of swords comes in, this heartbreak, this pain um, resurfacing for you. Um, and some of you, it may be hard to walk away from this person. Uh, you know, there that is on the table. You have been wounded. They have been wounded. Uh, not intentionally by anything you guys have done, but there is that energy of possibly needing to walk away. That could break your heart to do. But for others of you, and with that heartbreak, right? You can choose to do differently. You can choose to go after what you really want or this person can, uh, cross watcher if you're here, because 
You have the King of Wands. You have the ability to conquer what you truly desire. Can you overcome that heartbreak to get to it though? All right, so interesting coming in. I have, I bury myself in work to forget you. So I do feel like this is somebody you're in breakup with and in separation from an ex for a lot of you that um, is using work as a distraction from their pain, which is ironic because I know I was a distraction from your pain coming in also from a current person or past person. This can work in both scenarios. Um, if you've been connecting with somebody uh, and you have a connection or feeling of a strong connect, strong bonding with another individual, and um, you, you, whether you did this intentionally or you know, this could be vice versa, Libra, you might be connecting with someone that's doing this to you. Um, you got into a connection with this person or they with you, and it wasn't coming from a place of, you know, starting over, starting fresh, really investing in a new relationship. I may have started with that, what may have been your intention, but this ended up becoming a band-aid, someone that made you feel better, made you uh, feel happier, who was who lessened the pain that you were feeling about your previous loss or a previous loss. Um, they're aware or you're aware that you are that distraction. And they feel like now, and this may be how you feel as well, that you've come to that place where you've done all that you could for that person or they've done all that they could for you, that you're in a better place than what they found you or vice versa, or they're in a better place than what you found them. You know, you feel, there's a feeling of completion here. Uh, can also go serve well with this Eight of Cups. It's knowing that you were content, things were good, but they were not fulfilling. And so this may be a time where the both of you are acknowledging that it was time to move on from this connection or move forward from this connection because all you could do for this connection has indeed been filled. And if that is the case, whether that's coming from them or you, there's a sense of acknowledgement that it's okay. All right, guys, let's go ahead and pull the zodiac signs that are showing up most dominantly in your energy at this time. All right, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, taking a look at my beautiful Libras. What zodiac signs are showing up most dominantly in the Libra energy? All right, so we have Cancer coming through very dominantly. If you are connecting with the Cancer, take that as a sign of synchronicity. If any of your signs come through, take it as a sign of synchronicity for the confirmation that this reading is for you. If your person's sign does not come through, but you really resonated, you really felt a connection to this reading, it is still your reading. It just means out of all the zodiac signs, your person's sign was not as dominant as the other signs showing up here. All right, I'm actually hearing there's only going to be three to four zodiac signs coming through. All right, so the second one coming through to join this little energy party is Virgo. So Cancer and Virgo and Sagittarius energy popping in. Okay, this one, thank you. And whoop. And Leo popping in to say hello here. So Leo in the center there. Libra, your energy is at the bottom of the deck confirming that that is correct. There was four energies. Uh, or you could also be connecting with a fellow Leo or Libra. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get your closing message. This is going to be your wisdom, your guidance, your advice message from the universe and or spirit, depending upon your belief system. I will be taking a look today at a general advice or a full message, a relationship message, and your prosperity message. Feel free to stay for all three or depart after you hear the message that you feel was most important to you. All right, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors of the light, my beautiful spiritual team. Let's take a look at my beautiful Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, best message advice and guidance coming through for Libra. What do they need to know for their highest vibration and highest good? Beautiful. So you're getting card number 32 
and that is the here and now um, message. So the general message here is everything happens in the now, in the present. Only this moment counts. You have what it takes to handle anything today if you let go of the need to look into the future or reflect on the past. Be present and notice what is going on right now. This very moment has the potential for you to create miracles in your life. Relationship message. It's easy to yearn for a love affair or friendship you may not have right now. One that is more romantic, more fun, more reliable, more passionate. The good old days are gone and a new day has dawned. Let your heart trust that you have everything you need right now, whether you have the relationship you desire or not. Tomorrow is beyond your really reach. Yesterday cannot return, but now is all that is available to you. Stay present and aware that in this moment, as you cherish and approve of your beautiful self, you are a magnet for love. Spirit is madly in love with you right now. Did you know that? Turn to spirit to feel the joy of love in the here and now and your prosperity message. What you are working on is golden and your efforts will leave a powerful legacy. Focus not on meeting a goal in the far off future, but on creating your dream now, releasing your desire for an outcome and owning that it already exists. It will appear in the material world as if by magic. Claim your prosperity now. The essence is more important than the form. When you are immersed in prosperous thoughts, you automatically tune into a sense of timelessness and unlimited potential. You act as if in spite of the temporary outer conditions, you are prosperous at this moment. What you think now becomes your reality. Stay present. All right, my beautiful Libras, I want to thank you so kindly for tuning in to this reading. I hope this gave you an overview, an insight into your energies and into your situations. Please be sure to smash that like button if you have not yet done so. Consider subscribing. We would love to have you part of the Gasserian Soul family. Drop a comment down below simply to say hello or let me know how this reading resonated with you. Wishing all of you nothing but light, love, and prosperity on your journey forward. Namaste. Bye for now.